On March 18th of 2008, I was diagnosed with cancer. Cancer is now the number one killer in America, more than heart disease, accidents, homicides, or war. What if we could prevent cancer from developing? What if cancer were to become a manageable disease instead of a death sentence? What if a cancer treatment made possible by advances in molecular medicine and biotechnology were this close, or this close, This is so worth the effort because this is the most devastating disease and it, it just takes people and um, brings them down to their core. It would be wonderful if we can alleviate some of the uh, suffering. It's important to understand that cancer has been treated basically the same ways in the last 50 years. Radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery. While thankfully, there have been advances in those treatments. The resulting side effects, the collateral damage to the body, and the quality of life issues that have resulted lead us to believe that there has got to be a better way to treat cancer. ACGT is dedicated to looking for an innovative treatment for cancer. And I've just been fighting this. I've had a lot of uh, side effects. Um, unfortunately, I wound up having a mastectomy and they had to take out all of my lymph nodes. The cancer and the chemotherapy did not help stop the cancer pretty much from spreading. There's this feeling right now, or there's this belief that we can find a drug for any kind of cancer. Drugs are chemicals, and like most chemicals, they have a lot of different side effects. I happen to be very familiar with the side effects of chemotherapy. Some days I couldn't get out of bed. I would just pray I would be able to get out of bed to hug my children. In the summer of 07, they found you know, all these tumors in my abdominal cavity. I was stage four malignant melanoma. and. Uh, the, they, well, I was told there is no real good treatment. There are some treatments you can do that will maybe hold it at bay for a certain amount of time, but it will come back with a vengeance. Alliance for Cancer Gene Therapy is the only nonprofit in the nation dedicated exclusively to funding cell and gene therapies for cancer. I'm a nine year cancer survivor, nine years, it's a long time. Private funding is crucial to fulfill the promise of cell and gene therapies and to move the science from the lab to practice. All cancers are caused by a problem in the gene of the cell. Every time a cell replicates, the genes have to uh, make copies of themselves. And an error forms in a gene that causes the cancer cell to continue to divide. Because the problem uh, at the root of cancer is a genetic problem, a gene defect or gene mutation in the cell that causes cancer, gene therapy in its various forms gets at this root cause. And that means you're either elevating the immune system or you're uh, to kill the defective genes or cells, or you're adding a gene which replicates and makes more of those genes to solve the problem. So looking into the future, it is critically important that we think outside the box and see if there are novel therapies that we could introduce. More recently, in the last two decades, uh, scientists have been uh, coming up with new schemes that uh, aim to generate a new class of drugs and those drugs are the patient's own cells or the patient's own genes. Genes are made by our own bodies. Genes are natural products, really. And we, the key issue is to find the right gene that will kill the tumor cell. When we are dealing with biological agents like that, uh, they do not have the, um, the, the usual side effects that we see uh, in chemo and in radiotherapy. They made a vaccine specifically for me. And so then once a month, I would come down and get a shot. The way I like to look at it is personalized therapy, where it's a treatment that is basically engineered for you as a patient. 
Then I received six injections of my own personally manufactured vaccine over the course of several months. There were absolutely no side effects. And one of the main, I think, advantages of targeted therapies, particularly targeted immune therapies, are that they're relatively non-toxic. You don't have hair loss. You don't have a drop in your counts. You don't have infectious problems. You don't have these scary things that you commonly see with chemotherapy. I really didn't feel anything going on, but at the same time, uh, I had several CT scans, and each time they showed a, a little less tumor. And then when I finally had this last uh, PET scan, why, according to that, all the tumors were gone. From the point of view of gene delivery, you can sort of look, you can look at our field uh, with two main uh, approaches. In one of them, the gene is delivered to the tumor inside the body of the cancer patient. Those are called in vivo approaches. In the other, some cells are taken out of the body following a biopsy or, or by following um, collection of blood, are then genetically modified in the laboratory and then reinfused, returned to, to the patient. And these are called ex vivo strategies. I'm not a scientist. I can't discuss the ramifications of gene therapy with you. I'll leave that to the experts. However, I'm going to tell you that because of the gene therapy, I'm standing here talking to you tonight. Well, ACGT has been an organization that raises private funds to support a critical area of research to treat cancer in the future. We are very proud of the fact that 100% of all donations go directly to ACGT research grants. During the past few years, we've already funded a number of uh, uh, researchers all over the country in leading medical schools uh, that, they, that are doing this kind of innovative research. The promise is ever more credible to us as research results continue to prove the potential of this extraordinary science. With the support of uh, ACGT, we initiated a few years ago uh, a trial that makes use of genetically modified T cells which are engineered to attack leukemias and lymphomas. Two months after the T cell infusion, we started seeing a regression of lymph nodes, lymph nodes in multiple locations in the body. So ACGT uh, is a, uh, a very important cog in the scientific wheel and can in fact fund things in ways that the National Institutes of Health and other agencies cannot. We only want to fund the applications that are really novel because we want to develop new treatments. So ACGT's support was critical for, for me to translate some of these ideas that are, at the time when I wrote them, sort of in the realm of the possibility into something that actually is being proven now in a small animal model of brain tumors and that really gives great hope that we can actually translate it into humans. We have all of these projects that are selected by the council that have high scientific merit. In the end, it's not funded because of a lack of resources. It takes courage and vision to forge a new frontier. I believe that we scientists um, have such courage and vision. We believe in these new strategies. We can see the benefits that humanity stands to gain from these engineered cells and these genes that are now used as drugs. It also takes courage and vision from the people who support this research. It's so much easier to follow the groove or the beaten path. The Alliance for Cancer Gene Therapy opens up a whole new way of treating cancer. And this is the wave of the future.